could be in Phoenix. And so left side, Brian Gottlieb with Dredge. Right side, Adam Kai with Maverick. So uh, this is uh, this is always, I think, a hard game one for Maverick. You know, they, they have a few things. He has two scavenging uses, which obviously help out tremendously. Yeah. Uh, he can load the board up. If he gets an Elishnorn in play, he's in awesome shape. Uh, the only thing that Brian can do at that point is uh, get an Angel to spare and, uh, and, and kill him. Uh, he, has, he has Flare of the Hate Bound, and I'm not quite sure how that reads. Do you remember? Uh, I'm going to look that up. So uh, I think that might also theoretically deal with Angel. We'll, we'll look that up. Yep. Uh, or deal with the Elish Norn. But, you know, getting mm -hmm. Elish Norn's hard. Though he does have loyal retainers, one of those, so he, he can uh, do that fun combo where you, uh, you know, you, you uh, discard, like, say, an Elish Norn, mm -hmm. um, go get loyal retainers, play loyal retainers, sack it, return, put Elish Norn into play, and boom, big, big creature. All right, so Flare of the Hate Bound. For those of you who don't remember all the way back, <laughs> uh, to uh, Dark Ascension. Um, <laughs> it is a 4-2 for a red and 5. Creature Devil. Uh, undying. Whenever Flare of the Hate Bound or another creature enters the battlefield, battlefield from your graveyard, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. So it's a very pandemonium-esque kind of ability, but it's yeah. when the creatures come out of the graveyard. So Flare of the Hate Bound comes out of the graveyard as a 5-3 after Undying. Right, and he has Icarus that come out uh, the tokens from Bridge from Below, while they, they may uh, look like they come from the graveyard, they're not actually from the graveyard. They're, they're, they're coming from the library, right? It's like they're when coming... they're milled. No, uh, no, uh, not 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 uh, not uh, Narcomedia. Not Narcomedia. I'm talking okay. about the tokens from Bridge oh, from Below. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, they you actually, did say Bridge from Below. They're so. actually <laughs> generated out of nowhere, not out of the graveyard. So <laughs> those will not actually trigger it. That would be way too good. They're from below, I guess. Right, they're from below. Adam Kai on the play. <laughs> Very good that he's on the play for him. Uh, gives him a much better shot. He has a turn one uh, Savannah, though. He probably would like to turn one play. Uh, this dredge deck probably gonna. It's either gonna careful or it's gonna have faithless looting here, I imagine. Uh, he's deciding. Oh, future Nymph. Another uh, good turn one play that lets you discard uh, whatever you want. That's gonna. I, I imagine he has. Uh, I see at least a grave troll in his hand, so that's at least six cards you can dredge. Um, Adam Kai draws for his turn. Uh, a couple things he could get here that he would like. Um, he wouldn't mind a scavenging use on two. Uh, there's always a question then if it's going to be fast enough, but it's usually fairly quick. And there it is. Uh, a scavenging use, and it appears to be a Japanese scavenging use. Nice. It's a lot harder to find than English scavenging uses. Adam Kai, put some thought into his deck. Put some thought into the cards you wanted to get for this deck. And yeah. Great Troll goes, uh, goes uh, in a turn. Yeah. Into the graveyard. Into the graveyard, discarded. Yep. Gets uh, dredged. So we have City of Brass, Cabal Therapy, Golgari Thug, Icarid, Lion's Eye Diamond, Icarid. Icarid. Two Icarids is pretty good. Uh, no other dredgers there. Oh, you know, sorry, he does have one other dredger to dredge for. The Thug. Thug. None of, the life. Big, none of the big guys. Though I guess he has a, a Grave Troll in his hand, so you can discard that. Uh, if he has a Careful Study or something here, he's going to get uh, a lot of value out of it. Uh, a Future Nymph, so that's up to 11 with a Careful Study. And these um, cards being discarded from his hand here. Right, right. Uh, a lot of times you see Dredge and they, of course, put their uh, Graveyard just right in the center. Yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Sepulchre Coliseum. Has Threshold. Has Threshold. He's going to um, sack that. Yep. Uh, Rich might see a kill this turn. Yeah, this dredge can do it. Could just be a kill screen. Just go ahead and check. Yeah, there's seven. Yep. And all right, he's gonna dredge uh, on the, the first card. Here's Bulgari, Grave Troll. One uh, ends of Faithless Looting. Guess what? Angel Faithless of Despair. Looting works real well with uh, Lions of Diamond. Cabal Therapy. C careful another Study. Grave another troll. Grave Troll. Golgari Thug. And here's our second of the three. One, two, three, Narcomoeba. Four. Five, six. Yeah, you see Breakthrough, Dread Return, yep. uh, Gemstone Mine, and uh, next to that is an Arc Amoeba. And then he has one more. And is that Flayer the Hate Bound, I believe, went into the graveyard? Uh, uh, I, 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 I think thought it was Faithful Sitting. Oh, it might have been Faithful Sitting. Okay, and Lion's Eye Diamond. Amoeba, so he's now able to flash back 
the uh, dread return, but I don't think he's quite done because I didn't see any bridge from Belows. I did not see bridge from Belows. Uh, but luckily for uh, Brian Gottlieb, he has another thing he can do. He can sack the Lions of Diamond, flashback Faithless Looting, um, pro. Let's see, he has a. Uh, yeah, that is a flare of the hate bound, by the way. Flare of the hate bound. Uh, he can flash that back, um, which will kill his graveyard up even more. That appears to be what's happening here. Two, there's Bridge, there's Bridge. Three, Cephalid Coliseum. Four, five, six, yet another Narc Amoeba. And I think five more he has left. Or must have, must have been oh, six. Third Bridge, fourth Narc Amoeba. All right, so uh, Adam Kai is uh, is not long for this world. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot to do against uh, a dredge, uh, just a, an amazing dredge like this. Uh, Brian Gottlieb's going to have four creatures in play. He has a dread return, and uh, I believe a Cobalt Therapy. So with two bridges, three bridges, mm -hmm. you know, it, alone he's making uh, just so many creatures. Um... Uh, so that's uh, three, so it's uh, nine tokens off of the Dread Return and another three off of the Cabal Therapy, so that's 12 tokens right there. He looks like he's going to Cabal Therapy first. Now, did he not put those uh, other Narc members into play? It doesn't appear that he did. That's what's strange. I'm like, I was kind of waiting for him to do that. I thought he was... You, I, you know, I, I believe that is a may. I think that he may not have actually put those in play. We may have to put him from the judge exactly, may, you know, make sure we're not in some phase that... Yeah, there he goes. He just concedes. So, uh, Brian Gottlieb, first game. <laughs> yeah. Pretty quickly. Um, turn two. Turn yeah. two. That is what LED does for Dredge. It lets you get draws like that. Adam Kai had uh, a pretty nice card not, turn not the two. best the best draw he could have gotten. I mean, no, but it, I mean, it, uh, scavenging it, ooze is not a bad card against Dredge. It's not a bad card. I mean, the the only thing he could have done better is uh, getting a Gaddick Teak onto. That lets him stop uh, Dread Return from coming back. It doesn't mean that he can't. You know, Brian Gottlieb can't just make a million tokens, but at least he, he can't get Dread Returned. I believe there. Uh, I think you only flipped over one Cabal Therapy. Uh, I, I thought, you mean just this, just now? Yeah. I think he, I think there were two. Two Cabal Therapy, so that's uh, six tokens, which is a pretty good spot to be in. But he couldn't actually Dread Return as long as um, Gaddick Teague was in play, but, you know. The there sp was not a Gaddick Teague in play. Other than that, I mean, that, that's the, o the only better turn to play he could have had. Uh, the only thing, other, the other thing he could have done is... You know, if he played a, a bird or something on turn, or a, a noble on turn one, played a turn two, scavenging his one mana up, he could have dealt with one grave troll, but I think Brian had more than enough. Yeah, I think it was, it was, gonna, to, to it was inevitable there. Uh, so so wow. hopefully Adam knows what Brian is on. <laughs> I think he's figured it out. I <laughs> yeah. think he has figured it out. I think he knows what he's boarding in. I mean, he's got surgicals, he's got a bajuka bog. You know? He's also got, uh, he's got Flusterstorm, which. Can, can matter here because Dredge does not play a lot of lands, does not have access to his, to very much mana. You know, uh, he's probably not going to bring that in. You don't think? No, because oh, well, the thing is that uh, even if you uh, flusterstorm like their Dread Return, mm -hmm. you still have to deal with all the tokens that Bridge from Below's create. Yeah. That makes so sense. unless you can surgically extract the Bridge from Below's in response, and by that point, I mean. I think the surgical is probably enough. Like he could bring in gut shot. Uh, one cool trick you can do is you can play a, you know, you play out your uh, mother runes, you play out your noble high art. They go off, and uh, you know when they put all these triggers in the stack and bridge from below, you just gut shot your own creature. It goes yeah, the graveyard, yeah. bridges go away. So, but I imagine he's going to bring in quite a few cards here. He's uh, got a bajuga ball, and bajuga that's ball. A huge, obviously, and yep. intended specifically for this match. It is. It, it's very good. Keep the Super Cannonist, not horrible against it. Mm. I mean, it keeps him going off on turn two if you have it as a turn two play, but eh, probably just not quite enough. Uh, in terms of taking stuff out, Aven Mind Sensor is essentially useless against Brian. <laughs> it's still a two one body, but you, you don't really need that. Uh, Kassali Pride Mage, another creature that's not in incredibly good against him. Um, 
Scrib Ranger. Yeah, Scrib Ranger, not great. He's got a few creatures you can take out. Uh, you know, he's going to. Uh, Thalia is good in this matchup. Dredge is very land light, so, you know, you can slow it down with that. You've got a lot of cards to slow it down, and then you just have to rely on Surgical Extraction to sort of do the, the rest of the work. It, it, you know, this is one of those matches where you kind of wish you had uh, full Graveyard Hate, but. You know, Adam Kai doesn't, and that's that's just how it is. He's uh, you know, he can surgically extract something like a uh, Narc Amoeba mm -hmm. when that's on the stack to, to get rid of all those. Uh, well, when it, again, it puts it over in response to it, he can surgically extract. Um, you know, uh, the bridges is, is always very good, but I imagine that's probably target number that, one. That is really. probably target number one, and uh, he's got you know just mulligan aggressively. This is not the world's worst match for Maverick. He just really needs to. He needs to see his sideboard cards. That's really yeah, what that's it comes what it down is. to. It's, it, like any, you know, uh, we were actually discussing this yesterday. Uh, if, you know, when you have tournaments, for instance, that are best three to five, like a Pro Tour is. Yeah. Uh, Pro Tour top eight. Dredge is a much less uh, attractive deck. <laughs> right. Because it tends to be very positive game one and then somewhat negative game two. Uh, you know, it depends on the list. It depends on uh, on what people are playing. Like when uh, Adam Prozac played it in uh, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. he had had no great. He had no way to deal with Graveyard Hate because he figured no one's really playing it right now, and uh, I'm just gonna win every single game one and hope they don't drop a game two. And obviously, and it worked. Worked. yeah. But uh, you know, Adam is on a different plan. Uh, he, you know, Adam has Graveyard Hate, so Brian, uh, he's got to deal with it. He has Chain of Vapors. He's got a few different cards in his sideboard, like Firestorm. To, uh, to help out in matches like this where he can uh, deal with uh, Adam Kai having a few creatures in play. But, but yeah, uh, we're, we're going to see a, a little... It should be a fairly quick match, but it's going to be very, very tense. As uh, Brian Gottlieb trying to play around the hate that he knows Adam Kai brought in, but generally don't know what hate. Does he have Tormund's Crypts? Does he have Relics? Does he have Surgicals? That's the decision Brian Gottlieb has to make, and when he takes, looks his opening hand, you know, generally you can play around some of the hate. You just gotta make sure you're playing around the right, the, around the right ones. Man. Yeah, Brian had a very good start last game. I mean, clearly winning on turn two, or getting a concession on turn two, is uh, you know, it's kind of an understatement. But you know, he he saw pretty much everything he needed to. Golgari Grave Troll, the Imp to get rid of it. Uh, you know, the dredge, he got the Sepulchre Coliseum on turn two. He, he was uh, very well set up. Not yeah. always going to gonna play out like that. So, Adam starts game uh, game two with a Noble Hierarch. And, and the rest of uh, his hand, he's got a Mother of Runes, I see. Got a Wasteland. Turn one, City Brass, Brian, 19. Firestorm takes out the uh, takes out the noble. He's yeah. gonna probably choose at least. Oh, just chooses the yeah. uh, the one card. He just discards one card to deal one damage to one target. Yep. Funny story. The previous I was at, they mm -hmm. uh, the judges didn't rule that correctly and let it kill people on turn one. <laughs> that was awkward. Yeah, that's uh, that does sound a little awkward. I mean, no, yeah, it must not have thought that through very well. But Adam Kai's turn two plays a wasteland. Uh, you know, sometimes you just blow up their land here. I mean, Dredge is an incredibly land light deck. Yeah, for uh, sure. 13, 13 lands yeah. in this deck. 13 lands. You can sometimes just blow them up, blow it up, and uh, it, it just works. Now, I think he might have a Thalia. There he goes. Oh, okay. there he goes. Kills it. I think he has a Thalia in his hand, too. And uh, he's uh, added a second Noble Hierarch to the board right. to replace the first. Brian now, likely going to Dredge back. Yep, here we go. So Must mean he has a land. Coliseum. Gemstone Mine, Jared Return, Elish Norn, City of Brass, Coliseum. So one, two, three, four, five lands there. I mean, it's a pretty bad dredge for Brian to begin with. Uh, he flips over five lands. He doesn't have a land, and Adam is going to play Athalia. Yeah, this is going to be rough. This is... He didn't see hit any other dredgers. No, he didn't hit any Nothing, dredgers. No way he was on the, I'm, I don't need lands, I have dredgers. And guess what? Did not see Thalia means you need lands, so now he's got to draw a land. This so, is rough for him. Draw for the turn. He's and, he, uh, yeah. He's going to be drawing discarding pretty soon. 
Now, I don't know, did you, were you, you were over there, Mike Flores was talking about how he played Dredge earlier in the tournament, and it was his uh, opponent, Dredge, 22 cards, was it turn one? I had 22 cards, turn one, turn and one. didn't get a single sack outlet. Yeah. Single flashback card. Yeah, no no flashback card. Uh, just... Hit the bridges, hit the Narc Amoeba. He had no way to, uh, to yeah, sacrifice nothing anything. To, nothing to do with it at all. It's still had to sort of sit there for a turn and... Uh, and then Mike killed him with yeah. his combo, which was right. Cephalobrectus. So. And that is a Tarnished Citadel. That is, that is a, uh, an interesting land. It's like City of Brass, but much, much, much worse in this deck. I, sometimes you just need another land yeah, to pass Adam says, I, I want to get this exactly how, the, the, how this The works. versions that play um, Blood Gas are playing Undeserved Paradise, but Tarnished Citadel uh, uh, taps for one colorless or pay through life, tap to one, add one of any. It's, uh, it actually deals three damage to you. I'm Just, sorry. you know. Three damage. Loss of life damage. In case you have a COP uh, lands in play. You can actually use it, yeah. Yes. So, dredge players, think about that. If you're playing Tarnished Citadel. Yep. Uh, Adam Kai goes to cast Green Sun Zenith. Uh, he only paid one mana for it, and mm -hmm. I think that they're uh, discussing uh, whether or not he could pay the second. He's casting for zero. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Adam forgetting about his own Thalia, talking right. to the judge here. Right. And uh, so he might get a might get a warning for that. Um, also, uh, keep in mind, Adam Kai is playing a, a blue version of, of Maverick. Well, it's really just blue in the sideboard, I believe. But it looks like he brought in his skull piercers in an attempt to, uh, you know, get uh, keep Brian Gottlieb from, uh, you know, really resolving anything. Yeah, resolving and dread returning. Also good against Breakthrough, Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, all those cards. It's very good against uh, his deck. I uh, have a lot of mana pay for things. Thalia attacks. So it looks like they somehow backed up here. I don't think... Maybe uh, he was trying to do it for one, and they uh, backed him up to the, uh, that's not one, that's zero. All right. You gotta pay one for your Thalia. So Thalia into the red zone for two. And uh, Brian says draw, go. Nothing to do. Misty Rainforest for Adam. Uh, Adam has a window here. He's going to have to really take advantage of it. I said for two. I meant for three because uh, Noble Hierarch gave it, a, right, gave it right. a plus one. Right. Exalted trigger. So here's another three. Another three. Uh, it looks like he uh, he didn't uh, Green Sun Zenith Air because he wants to. He, he probably wants to Green Sun Zenith for zero. Mm -hmm. But he also doesn't want to not have Spell Pierce back up. Seems, and Frank Gottlieb, Drago, discard Grave Troll, I got a Dredger. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. the only thing he could do. He had to just draw yeah. until he had eight cards and discard. He had no other way to... Adam Kai, not yet cracking that. He wants to draw more lands. Uh, he's okay attacking for three, but he wants to attack for a little more. And there's three. Ryan now to 12. And... Uh, Adam passes back, so here we go. Dredge, dredge again. Dredge again. What can I get in this six? Another, Another dredger. dredger. Another dredger. A bridge from below. Bulgari Thug. Two discard outlets. So, uh, a bridge and three dredgers. Yep, and two, uh, two future nymphs. Yeah. So, uh, that was, as far as dredges go, I've seen better dredges, but that one was pretty good. He needs Martin, he still needs Narcomibos. But uh, he has all the stuff he needs. Dredge he got his. Uh, he got his uh, grave troll. So he uh, he discards that grave troll, yet again. And Adam Kai uh, can uh, once again attack. It's uh, Maze of Ith. Judge promo Maze of Ith. Can attack for three, once again. Thalia in. Brian is seven. Yeah, that Tarnished Citadel is a little scary now. It's. Uh, <laughs> Not as scary as it would be if that was the only way you could add mana. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he still had one colorless, so right. he still theoretically he, he uh, flashed it. up back. But he just can't cast anything with it. All right, so here's another Age dredge. Despair, Narc Amoeba, Faithless Looting, Lion's Eye Diamond, Diamond Vulcari, Grave, Grave Troll. Troll. Grave Troll so yeah. Narc Amoeba is going to come into play. Uh, if that blocks, it will may only make one token. 
Again, he has uh, only hit one bridge from below so far. Another turn where uh, Brian uh, really is probably just going to say... Yeah, discard go. go. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, he's got no way to sacrifice it uh, as far as we know. Yeah. And, oh, discards a bridge. Oh, discards a bridge. That's a good one. To Very discard. nice, yeah. So he's got two bridges. That'll make two tokens. Attacking getting less and less attractive for uh, Brian. Or for, or for Adam. Adam. Brian. Yeah. Well, in this case, I think we're going to see... Uh, See Narc Amoeba block two tokens. Oh, wait a second, what's happening? Could block here? and make two tokens. Ooh, Swords of Flash here. Wow. That will take out an Narc Amoeba. Yeah, it will. If he wants to pay two mana. Uh, problem there, of course, pays two mana, he can't spell Pierce. That is yeah, Mazabeth does not add mana. One more mana, Adam Kai. You gotta pay two. Wait, he can, he's got Noble Hierarch. But he has to pay the mana. He does have to. Oh, the Sinani can't spell. I'm sorry. The Spell Pierce also costs two. <laughs> right. And that's the problem. He's trying to hold back Spell Pierce, and he's he's uh, forgetting that he has Thalia in play. Mm -hmm. And so am I. So uh, the judge is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two mana, Adam. Two mana. Uh, right. Thalia, pro blue, attack okay. for three. I like that. Yeah. I like that yeah I mean, Brian doesn't have a whole lot of ways to actually interact with Thalia. He just, uh, Adam just needs him to not just start making zombies and get more and more turns. And passes the turn. Yeah. So, I like that. I mean, it makes sense there because Narc Amoeba could not block there. Right. All right, but now we have... Dread, breakthrough, breakthrough. Flare uh, the Hate Bound. Flare the Hate Bound, yeah. Flare yeah. the Hate Bound, uh, probably not so good against uh, Swords of Flash. No. No. <laughs> it does do some damage when it comes into play. But it doesn't do what you really want it to do. Uh, yep, and, and turn discards a uh, Cabal, Cabal Therapy. therapy. Alright, Adam. Time he can use that to make some tokens. Now, uh, Adam, I, I think he's. he. I think he needs a Swords of Sky right here. He's obviously thinking about it. And there he yep, goes. Okay. There he goes. Swords it. Gain life. Go up to five. Still two attacks. Yeah, didn't change the clock. Still going to take him two swings. Unless he can somehow add uh, two more hierarchs to the board. Right. You know, or other exalted trigger, uh, exalted creatures. Yeah, you know, whatever. Untaps. Draws. I, I believe uh, Brian did go up to five. He's only up four. Yeah. Has a land here. Yeah. All right. So he can potentially green sun zenith here. Uh, he's got access to f just four mana here. Right. Um, there we green go. sun will cost one extra. He can green sun for two to get a, uh, uh, for a two mana. Well, no, but it's oh, two oh, mana. Oh, pay two mana. Okay. To go get a um, dryad arbor. A dryad arbor, if you'd like. That's what the most he really need, he really should be doing here. Uh, you know, he he's gone this far with Spell Pierce defending everything. He might as well go that much further. One, two, looking for a Narc Amoeba. Three, four, five, six. The the Earth shakes. Yeah. But it does not reveal a Narc Amoeba. So that is uh, gonna be it for Brian. Yeah, discard Grave Troll. All that's left go. Is for Adam to attack. Adam draws his card for the turn, declares an attack, and there we, there we go. Going into game three here in round nine of the Legacy Open here in Baltimore. Winning in for both players. Adam Kai needs to be, you know, he's got to feel good about that game. He's yeah. probably kicking himself that he uh, missed Thalia a few times. Uh, yeah, I mean. Kind of, kind of uh, forgot about it. You know, at, at, at what, three times? Two times, <laughs> two, two times at least. He's going, okay, <laughs> tighten up, Adam. Yeah. He's telling himself, he just, you know, he's, he's, all right, tighten up. Don't do that again. It's in my deck. I need to pay attention to my cards. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Adam is a great player. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's, it's been a long weekend. Uh, I, I believe he played in the Invitational. Uh, uh, I imagine he was qualified. Maybe not. Yeah. 
But uh, I'm with you on that. With his, uh, with his, with his, how well he did last year, I imagine he is qualified. Um, so you know, it's it's three days of magic, uh, a lot of rounds. Sometimes you know you get late in the day and things start getting a little bit loopy. Certainly true. Not that we would ever get loopy or anything. No, no. no. We would never uh, miss things late in the day or anything. Nope. Like that. We're uh, we are superhuman. Them. Yes, absolutely. We're actually hooked up to uh, intravenous drips of uh, five-hour energy. Wait, it's it's kind of like the Matrix. They just have us plugged into the back of our spines. Right, kind of right. Don't tell the viewers that. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're being told we, to. We're not supposed to tell the viewers that. That was a joke. At least they tell us. I was, five, on the, I was only kidding. They, at least they, they tell us it's five hours of energy. It could just be like you know sugar water, and we wouldn't know. Yeah, it's it's uh, they, it's a uh, you know placebo kind of thing. It's really just uh, just Tic Tacs. There's, there's, <laughs> just Tic Tac. They're just feeding <laughs> us Tic Tacs intravenously. <laughs> this sounds like a horrible idea. I didn't mean the intravenous part. Jesus. I meant like here, take these we would, pills. How oh, we would die? We would die so quickly. We're just like, why? The, why do the patients keep dying, sir? We're putting Tic Tacs straight through bloodstream. <laughs> keep trying it. Keep trying. It's gonna work. We're gonna find a patient who's immune. <laughs> That is a bad mad scientist. Not at all loopy. <laughs> Not us. Uh, so game three, of course, Brian on the play. Yeah, uh, and that, that could be bad. I mean, this is, the first, this is the first game Brian's going to be on the play, right. and he could just win. You know, Adam has, on the draw, Adam has, or I don't play, Adam has so many better options. Like, playing a turn to Thalia. Playing mm. a turn to, a turn to Thalia is wonderful. Uh, turn two, um, you know, turn one, uh, mana guy into a turn two, um, ooh. But into a turn one scavenging use is great. You know, turn two Gaddick Dig is pretty good. Uh, if you board it in gut shots, you can play, you know, a turn one, you know. Uh, I would, I personally, I would board in gut shots. Yeah, I like your plan there. Just, I, to, uh, just to neutralize the bridges? Yeah, I mean, just that's, to neutralize. huge. Use out of my own guys to neutralize bridges. I mean, it's not like I'm cared about the card damage. I mean, I'm going to lose two life. You got me. Yeah. You got me. I lost two life. I lost a card. I, I, I spent two cards and two of my life to deal with four of yours. But the four... They're four of the cards that matter in your deck. Right. You know, and, and he needs some of that. He needs to be able to do something on turn one because this deck can kill him on turn two. We saw it the first game. You know, I, I am not going to ride my, my the future of, uh, of this tournament on uh, on a bad hand. I know he's got a mulligan aggressively. He needs a surgical. He needs some way to hate out Brian. He just doesn't have another option. Yeah, um, I mean, we saw Adam in that game just from his kind of body language. Like he was playing very slowly and deliberately. I don't mean slowly, like in a bad way. I just mean just very deliberate with his actions. You know, thinking, what am I doing here? I, okay, I'm going to attack. Right. You know, it wasn't. There was no willy-nilly swing. I mean, he even with that kind of thinking, he uh, you know he accidentally forgot about his own Thalia a couple times. But right, you know, right. and I think that maybe may have contributed to that uh, that sort of kind of deliberate thinking. Like, wait a second, I got to slow down in my brain. <laughs> I have Thalia in play. I cannot green sun zenith. You know, yeah, in I mean, the I same do, way as I'm used to. I do it all the time. I get a little bit ahead of myself. A little ahead of myself. I'm just like, I'm doing stuff, and I'm just like, doing something. I'm like, I was supposed to do that next turn. Yeah. Ah, boy. I know that when those real uh, complicated board states happen, and you're like, so I'm going to do this, 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 and then you're just like, you know, all right, I do this, I do this. All right, go. Oh, crap, I forgot to play a land. Now I'm <laughs> off of the mana. <laughs> like, I did all these things. I forgot to drop, uh, make my land drop. And these sleeves that uh, Brian has, I love these. The I, I, squirrel these sleeves. are the Star City Squirrel sleeves. Uh, these got a lot of attention when they first came out, and they are just—they're phenomenal. Though when I first saw them, my eyes saw them like from this angle. Mm -hmm. I actually thought it was a, a like a little guy with a graveyard behind him. And I was like, "Woo!" Yeah, I mean, I can see what you mean. Yeah. And I was like, "Those are awesome dredge sleeves." I was like, "Oh wait, those are the squirrel sleeves. Still awesome sleeves." Yeah. But it's not like customized to the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Which, if I was a real, uh, you know, legs guy, I, I didn't care about... I would get dredge sleeves and I would play them in my, uh, my stone blade deck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I would, I would get these sleeves that look like Maverick, and I'd, I'd, you know, turn one, Lion's Eye Diamond, land, <laughs> Faithless Looting, discard. Ha-ha! I mean, you gotcha. can kind of do that where you're like, you get the the, man, the colored mana sleeves, you know, you're like, I have the, you know, the red mana symbol sleeves, and you're just playing, you know, blue, mono blue control. Yeah. That would be great. You have like a play mat. It's got like cough on it, or you know, uh, <laughs> with a Cargan Dragon Lord play mat. People red mana sleeves. Everything's all, red, and you just people like this all the time. They have like this big, I, I, you know, I feel like this big bag of dice, mm -hmm. or they have like all these like mirror tokens or something. Or they, they used to have like all these uh, like tokens, and they 
you're like, oh, they're playing the token deck. They're like, nope, playing something else. I just psyching you out, bro. <laughs> I love it. So Brian Gottlieb, looking at his hand, trying to make a decision. He's good. He says yes. All right, so. Adam Kai says, okay, yeah, do what you gotta do. Now if Brian don't, Mulligan don't, into a don't turn Don't kill one me on win, turn one. Yeah, do what you gotta do, accept that. All right, Faithless Looting. Because you can't kill him on turn one. Uh, yes, you can. So uh, Faithless Looting for Brian. Draw two. And uh, discard two. What was he gonna discard? I, I bet you one of them's a dredger. I, uh, I I would hope so. Brian did keep this hand. Right? He didn't he didn't let Adam look at it and him decide. Right. Right. Here, right. you look. You tell me if I should keep. keep. No, keep <laughs> mulliganing. Opens up seven lands. Interesting. Yeah. Why did you tell me I could keep this? I trusted you. I trusted you, man. <laughs> you betrayed me. Wouldn't that be an interesting twist? So what we're gonna do is we decide whether our opponent's mulligan. And. Uh, we, uh, we see Thug and I, is that... Uh, That's a Grave Troll. Grave Troll behind it? Yeah, it is a Grave Troll. So, two Dredgers. Two Dredgers. And uh, Adam gets to uh, take his turn here. So, Brian fails to defeat Adam on the first turn. It's got to be disappointing. A real tragedy for him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, turn one, he plays a uh, Tropical Island. He uh, matches a spell pierce. Or, no, it looks like there's a Bluster Storm, storm actually. Yeah. He did bring in Bluster Storm. And a oh, surgical, surgical extraction, extraction on, on the grave, grave troll. troll. Yeah. That uh, is, was it the grave troll? I believe it's a grave troll. I think he, you know, he tapped in between there. He did. And we see Narcomoeba, Angel of Despair, uh, Cabal Therapy, and Cephalid Colossi right. in there. And again, this is uh, the, the ruling that I talked about earlier. You got to take it out of the graveyard. So let's see if he remembers. And uh, if he doesn't, what the judge ruling is. This could be fun. Grave Troll. Grave Troll. And Grave Troll. All right, so he's found three. That's all the Grave Trolls. The three three bridges right next to it. They were going to dredge all together. That would have been a crazy turn. That would have been. And they weren't, they're not far from the top of the deck. Yeah, no, they he, were not. Uh, he would have been dredging three bridges in. Yeah, that's nuts. But not happening. Not as likely to happen. Nope. Now that uh, they're going to have to it shuffle this. Adam taking a look through the deck. Now, I mean, you mentioned the thing about Moto. And, uh, yeah, Moto, Moto makes you uh, click on the card. Uh, I, I've heard uh, people on both sides of the, of the thing where you have to physically remove the other troll, otherwise it stays. And I've heard he there does do it. Okay. He does do it. That's good. Uh, and I've heard uh, judges say, you know, if you don't take it out, then you chose not to. And I've heard judges say the intent was there. But it all comes down to what the four judge rules, what the head judge rules. So luckily, the, oh, I should say luckily, it didn't come up. A little bit interesting to, to see a, a good judge call. You don't see those uh, every day. But he dredges four, one, bridge, bridge. City. city. Firestorm, Icarid. Okay, not a bad dredge. Not a bad dredge. Not the greatest, but no. He did worse. Uh, he does need to get more uh, dredgers in his, his graveyard, obviously. Yeah. So hopefully for Brian, he has something to do there. And uh, the fact that he mulled to six on the play uh, makes it a little more difficult for him to do, takes it a little bit longer for him to do the old... Uh, you know, get up to eight cards and discard. Right, Cabal Therapy targeting himself. Yes, I'm targeting me, named Golgari Grave Troll. I'm sorry, Golgari Thug. If he right. names Grave Troll, we're, yeah, uh, Brian's a, in trouble. That, yeah, Brian is in real trouble. Um, I didn't see if you looked through Brian's, did you look through Brian's? Oh, he did see Brian's hand when he did it. We've got a, oh, yeah, Adam in a Pluster Storm for two. No, you, you, can, you are not dredging next turn. Next turn, <laughs> you're gonna be unhappy and you have to take whatever you draw. You better hope it's a. Uh, you better hope it's one of your, uh, you know, uh, careful study effects. But that gemstone might is down to one counter. 
Yeah, I think so that whatever was... it, whatever he does next to, to get more creatures back in the graveyard, it will not be with any lands. All right, Two Adam. mana. Tapping out. Is it a Thalia? Is it a Gattachee? It is a Thalia. Thalia, and so, uh, uh, things are getting rough for Brian here. Yeah, comes uh, comes down with a Caracas, uh, so Caracas can, you know, potentially bounce the Thalia if that needs to ever happen. Not that yeah, it, very it necessarily true. Very would, true. but it can interact, and I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> But uh, he needs now. You know, it's it's just, you don't like being dredged and being like I have to draw cards like a like a normal person. You know, yeah, want, that's beneath me. That's beneath <laughs> me. I want to go to the back door and just put six in my graveyard. <laughs> like I got this, I got this secret entrance I know about the VIP club. I just show them my uh, my grave troll and they let me in. <laughs> Flip over six. Uh, People who draw one are lame. I like the uh, the fact that you know we saw in game one where the Thalia made Adam spell pierces cost two. Adam wisely decides I'm gonna fluster storm your uh, your cabal therapy right. when it only costs me one mana here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think that was a great thing to to actually decide to uh, to fluster storm. And now yeah. uh, you know he casts Thalia and sure now his his spell pierces cost two, but uh, you know he was able to use one early. Oh wow! So he's uh, th this is risky play for Brian. He is uh, tapping gemstone mine, which will put it in the graveyard. Oh maybe maybe he's not. Yeah, he, I think he's trying to figure this this out here. He was looking at he was gonna tap uh, Flo tap the float mine, a man up, which yeah. will let it die. Gem seven for threshold. Use that to self the coliseum. Draw three, discard three. Uh, the problem is he has no dredgers, so he's just going to discard dredgers. That's the only thing it will let him do, and. Um, you know, then he has no lands in play, and he has to draw more lands before he can actually cast any of his spells. Uh, now, with the bridge from below, the Icarid will be able to uh, come into play. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have a black creature removed just yet, but the, the Icarid will be able to come into play, attack. Uh, you know, Adam can block all he wants to. He's Brian's still going to get a token, and if he keeps doing that, if, gets, if he gets more bridges, he's going to get more tokens. He's going to get more tokens. So uh, Thalia alone is not gonna, you know, is not gonna win this. Oh, he's thinking about it. He doesn't like it. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's like very hesitant. He's, to he's do like this. this play is so bad for me. This well, play, he's but doing it. He's like draw three. You know, favor fortune. Uh, favor, our fortune favors the bold. So yeah. Brian Gottlieb draws three, discard three cards. We're gonna see Golgari Thug and what else? And what else is there? Another dredger? Is there uh, another bridge? There is Angel of Despair and thug two thug. thugs. The worst of his dredgers, but a dredger nonetheless. All right, says go. Does not play a land. Does not have a land. You already played a land that turn. You already played oh. the Coliseum. Oh, 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 I thought the Coliseum was already there. You, no, you're you right. It. Okay. Uh, Adam Kai gets his third land. He's got his swords. He has a mother of runes. Uh, one green, this is a noble? Yes, it is a noble. Uh, one white? Another an green. Another no green, another noble. Another noble. These Thalias are uh, yeah. four power in the red zone by themselves. And pen refusing to work. Not letting him take the one damage from uh, Horizon Kennedy. And he's going to come in for four. All right, Brian's got five turns. One. Five turns to mount an effective uh, offensive. And now, uh, he has two options here. So when he dredges, uh, upkeep, he could put Ikrid into play. Mm -hmm. uh, that will attack for three. Uh, it does remove one of the, uh, you know, it could remove the angel, I guess. But he's not putting it here. Okay, so he's not putting Ikrid in yet. He needs at least one more bridge for Ikrid's any good. And we see uh, City, Faithful Saluting, Careful Study, and Cabal Therapy there. Off of that dredge. Yep. Brian he's... appears. He, he may have a land. There is a Cephalid Coliseum. Yet another. And uh, taps it one for, blue. A, for a blue. Uh, this cannot be a careful study. It's a. Uh, what is he going to. He's going to flash back a. Oh, one blue for a uh, Lion's Eye oh. Diamond. <laughs> That's interesting. One blue for a Lion's Eye Diamond. And, and he, he uh, takes a point of damage for there, right? He does. He does. Next turn, we'll be able to sack that and. Uh, and get a fatal saluting. 
So he is, you know, blood, sweat, and tears on this one. He's, he's trying his best. What does uh, what did Adam Kai draw? Didn't quite see. Let's see he's in the mother rune. Oh, he has the mother runes. Still has that one. What well, he has to hope to draw here is a scavenging noose. Or, you know, another a surgical on bridges would be pretty backbreaking. Alright, Thalia in for four. Ryan down to eleven. Adam Kai. Uh, three, four, four I imagine this is a green sun zenith. It is a green three. sun zenith for three. For two. For two. That looked like oh, said... it's the Thalia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes for two. Gonna get a scavenging Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was counting the Thalia as well, and I didn't do it. Right. Gonna get a scavenging ooze. Scavenging ooze? Or, or a Gaddock do you think? I, I think you've got to get ooze here. Okay. I mean, you're just a, you're, the position you're in. You can remove. Uh, he only has one dredger in his graveyard left. You get you get rid of that. Ooze. You know he, he gets another uh, another counter. All of a sudden he's attacking for more damage. Next turn he can sort of empty out um, Brian's graveyard, assuming that somehow this lion's eye diamond doesn't you know give him enough to to actually win, which would be pretty hard. He'd have to sort of draw a land to, to actually go off. He's taking a look at what's here exactly. I believe uh, he's taking the thug, all yeah, right? Taking the dredger. So there are no dredgers in Brian's graveyard right now. Ooze gets a little bigger. Yep, Brian, Adam gains one and Ooze is countered. So uh, this is kind of a, this is the turn where he has to, you know, Brian has to do something here. Brian has to, he's gonna have to pop this, uh, his LED, I think. He's going to have to draw well, draw a land, pop the LED, have this LED, uh, discard a, uh, you know, he's going to discard at least one treasure. Somehow hit like uh, a stink lead up off the second one and get the perfect 11 cards. All right, here comes the uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Activation. Yep, he'll have to uh, gonna discard his hand. Use that, discard his hand. Mm, thinking about it. It's, it's a bad situation for him. Yep, taps it, sacks it, discards his hand. You see, Narc Amoeba, Narc Amoeba, so breakthrough and thug. That's, that's rough. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, oh, he's actually he's, not uh, faithful looting. He is. Uh, he's using Sepulchral uh, Sam. Sepulchral Sam, yeah. We'll have two mana floating. Four. So, uh, and draws two. Yep, only it's one dredger. Discards so three. Two cuts an Elish Norn. But, you know, he, he just needed the perfect cards there. Yeah, and he didn't get them, so Adam's gonna be able to, uh, to surgically extract without surgical extraction. <laughs> Precisely yep. extract. He's like, get these two dredgers. Get out those two. One, two, uh, and then that uh, that should be a five power ooze. Then I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five. It is a five power ooze. A five power ooze that attacks for seven. Yeah. He can make it bigger by getting those Narc Amoebas if he wants. No? Okay. Yep. Uh, he could, he, but There's no real reason to. I'm just... Uh, uh, you get the Icarid before you get the Narc Amoebas anyway. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the Icarid was even in there. Uh, but, you know, yeah. I, I think you just sort of leave it as is. You, you can... Uh, I don't know if he has anything else to do. I guess he's just getting two more. Interesting that he just, uh, decided to attack with Thalia, since it just represents just the same as if he were yeah. just attack with the Ooze. 
Uh, yeah. He takes the uh, did he take faithful saluting and was there another faithful saluting? Two of those. I believe there are two of those. Okay, so now those have been yeah, exiled. Yeah, so Brian top harvest deck. Uh, is it a free emerald? Free emerald not even enough here. He needs like a free wrath of God. He does need a free wrath of God. Actually, a minus one wrath of God, I think. And uh, Brian X in the hand, so Adam Guy with Maverick winning the game and uh, presumably. Pre Going to be top eight. Yeah, I think I think he's top eighted. I mean, I believe this was a win and in match. 